SI joints, okay. SI joints. Between the sacrum and our iliac crest, right? Mm -hmm. Sacrum iliac. So for these, there is a 30 degree cephalic angle. And our center point is going to be one and a half inch above our pubic symphysis. That's basically two inches below the as is. So you said one and a half inches below what? It says one and a half inch above our pubic symphysis, which is the same thing as two inches below as is. So you can find her pubic symphysis how? CR was at the trochanter? Um, yes, which is at the. No, you want to go one and a half inch above our pubic symphysis. Oh, okay. So okay. we want to float the table a little bit. Remind me, am I doing it here or here? This one? Uh, do it on this one. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to float it. Collimation is going to be 8 by 10. All right, so this is for your S. <coughs> mm -hmm. This is for your SI joints, both sides. So 30 degree cephalic angle, center is where? Um. Above the pubic symphysis. Mm -hmm. And you can find your pubic symphysis how? Three inches. Three inches. Four two inches below. The asses. Uh, you can also call this the There you go. Okay. SI joints. Good. Now, for our SI joints, we do have the AP axial and we also have oblique SI joints. I have a question for AP long core. I thought we had to do this. Um, you can leave it, leave the legs straight in the clinic, but for test out purposes, they say that um, leaving the knees bent kind of makes their back more flat and like touching the IR. So you can choose to do that if you prefer. So like in clinic though, they'll leave it flat. Some techs may have their knees bent, but I've rarely seen them okay. do that. All right, so for oblique SI joints, we're going to oblique the patient about 30 degrees, which is less than our lumbar. So you can still use the wedge, but not like where you would normally use it? Correct. So turn a little bit, not too much. Come back. So make sure the patient is not 45. Come back just a little bit more. That's just good. Um, did we have an angle on this? No, we did not. Centering for this is one inch medial to your elevated as is. So that's your as is correct? So from the as is, oh, our tape is not good. Um, could you scoot down a little bit? Or actually, I'll have Jay come pull the mattress. Thank you. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you. It's like I'm not that strong. <laughs> so from her as is, we're going to go huh. one inch medial. Collimation, six by ten. Okay. And I know on the lumbar we said 
we're looking at the side that's closest to the IR, correct? Mm -hmm. For the SI, it is the side that's up. We're looking at the right side, right? Yes. So it opens up that joint space on the elevated side. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing the left side, it's going to be the left side. If you're doing the right side up, it's going to be your right side. Okay. What page is this? Uh, page 175. And then for marker placement, you can do the right top or the right bottom. Stay away from the inside. Any questions so far? No. So how do we do our AP um, SI joints? Of okay, and where do we center? Uh, one inch and a half above the pubes. Well, you make you said you said for the AP SI joints, we do thirty degrees to phallic. Mm -hmm. What page are you on? Oh, I'm looking at a week. I'm sure that's my fault. I was about to say she's holding the book. What are you talking about? <laughs> So yeah, oblique, there's no angle. We're just obliquing the patient. How many degrees? 30. 30. That's what I was looking at. Perfect. Think so your, she's at a 30 degree. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what you else? mark it side is up. Correct. For the SI mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Side the touching down is for the L spine. Correct. And you only do LPO and R. Someone was paying attention. <laughs> it was in their half asleep. <laughs> All right, so that was it for our SI joints. Now we're moving on to our sacrum. So let me remove this wedge. So for the sacrum and coccyx, there are angulations. The way that I remember is 15 up and 10 down. 15 up for the sacrum because it's on top, and then 10 down for the coccyx because it's below the sacrum. So when you hear someone say AP sacrum, automatically 15 degree angles. Cephalic. Cephalic. Okay. Centering is going to be two inches below your edges. So move your hand for a second. From her asses, we went two inches down, but we still want to be midline because the sacrum is in the middle of the body, right? Mm -hmm. Keep your legs um, separated. Collimation, eight by 10. So AP sacrum, pretty simple, 30 degree cephalic. Um, centered at two inches above or two inches below asses to the midline. So for AP lumbar, you center two inches above, and then for sacrum, AP lumbar, you're at the crest. AP sacrum. I mean, for SI joints. Oh, right? for AP SI joints? Yes. Yeah. So two inches above the pubic synthesis, and then for the sacrum is two inches below the pubic synthesis? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Two inches below as is, not pubic synthesis. Yeah, right now you're at the level of really belly button. Okay. So right now, well, what is no, it? what's the center? My fault. Um, for a sacrum, it should be two inches below your asses. Which is the pubic synthesis. Mm -hmm. Which is right at the pubic synthesis. Yeah, that's about what her trochanter is. Okay. Yeah. 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 Our AP sacrum, our lateral, our lateral sacrum coccyx. 
So in the book, they have it, I think, separated, lateral so um, sacrum and lateral coccyx, but 90% of the time, you're going to do the lateral sacrum coccyx in one shot, because it's, everything's right there. There's no reason for you to separate it. Um, but before we do that, let me just go over the AP coccyx. What was the angulation? Er, 10. 10. 10 caudal. Mm -hmm. Centering is going to be two inches below as is. Oh, yeah, she did say that. Mm -hmm. So 15 for the sacrum, 10, 10 for coccyx. Mm -hmm. So the centering is the same for a sacrum caustics. It's all two inches below the as is. The only difference is our angulation. Yeah. Collimation is the same too? Eight by ten, yep. Okay. Uh, alrighty. Now we're gonna do our lateral sacrum coccyx. So go ahead and turn on to your left side. Now to the angulation. forward a little bit more and point your <laughs> ass <asthma, laughs> please <laughs> mm. I have to take a nap don't let Mr. Fun catch you I'm going to let go so for the sacrum and coccyx lateral she's going to be in a lateral position no tube angulation. Centering for this is about four inches behind your asses. So ask the patient to point to their asses. Uh, go ahead, Emily. Four inches for me is about four fingers. And then central ray will be four inches posterior. This Thank is for you. your lateral sacrum coccyx. So from here you go four back? Four back, yes. And then, there we go. And you five fingers. course, five fingers for you. Mm -hmm. You want a little bit of light behind their um, shadow because the coccyx kind of curves out, right? You don't want to miss clipping that. No, no. Any questions? About this? So this one is lateral sacrum? Mm -hmm. Lateral sacrum and okay. coccyx. Mm -hmm. So four inches behind your as is. For this, it says collimation is 10 by 12 because why do you think we're increasing the collimation? Because you have both on there. Because some people's um, sacrums go out more. Take a look at this x ray. See how wide the curve is for their coccyx? Mm -hmm. And it could also be like very long too. That's why you don't want to miss clipping any of that. Um, alrighty, what's next? Hmm. We don't need to shield any of these, right? I'm sorry? We don't shield the lumbar and sacrum. We do. You, you could potentially do. shield for the lumbar, but. Mm -hmm. No one's gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna shield. <laughs> now, if you were only doing the coccyx by itself, the centering is going to be still four inches behind the as is, but then we would go two inches down. Mm -hmm. This is only if you're doing the coccyx by itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, can you repeat that one more time? So, the centering right now is what? Four inches, Four inches behind the as is. Oh, you're trying to kill me. So that's for your sacrum and your coccyx. Mm -hmm. But if you ever had to do the coccyx by itself, the centering would still be four inches behind the as is, but from there we would go two inches down. Okay. All right. I believe that is it for the table stuff. Yep, that's it. All right, patient, thank you for choosing Harris Health. Have a happy day.